<laughs> okay. The 2023 American League Jackie Robinson Rookie of the Year is Gunnar Henderson. Congratulations. <laughs> Hey, you got, you got to come here. This thing's falling out. Right. Gunnar Henderson is your 2022 oh, Jackie Robinson American League Rookie of the Year. Cal helping us out with that. Yes, we can hear you. Can you hear me? It's Greg. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, works. give me. What is your reaction to winning Rookie of the Year, Gunnar? Yeah, no, it's uh, really special. I'm just really honored to be uh, up for this award. And just uh, also hats off to Tanner and Tristan. They had a heck of a year. But, um. Just want to thank everybody that voted for me and um, just really appreciative of this. Connor, it takes a village uh, really to get to the point where you are now and you're sitting with all those people that helped you throughout the, uh, throughout the time. Uh, how does that feel to share it with them? Uh, how does that feel to share it with them? Yeah, no, definitely being from a small town, we all uh, like we hang out together and just pretty much grown up together. So it's been cool to have such a supportive like group behind me and um, just being able to have them at my side and support me through the tough time in the earlier the year, earlier part of the year, and then just being able to have them through the good times has been really special. Well, Gunnar, congratulations. I mean, this is so impressive. This was a great rookie class in the American League, and you win unanimously. Going back to that backyard field, I got to ask you, when you're taking those swings as a kid, who are the guys you were pretending to be? And did you think a moment like this was even possible? Uh, honestly, I mean, I didn't really have that person growing up. I mean, my favorite player was Randy Johnson at the time. But, uh, yeah, just growing up, I just always wanted to be myself. And then as I got older and kind of tried to see who my game modeled after, I did uh, kind of look to Corey Seager for that. And that's uh, kind of been who I've been still compared to to this day. So it's uh, pretty cool to have somebody like that. And then um, now being with the Orioles, get uh, to talk to Cal and stuff and just – him being a bigger shortstop as well, it's been really cool to pick his brain, and he's one of the best to do it, so I feel like he was a good person to chat about. Would you like to talk to Cal again? Because here he is. Hall of Famer Cal Ripken Jr., what would you like to say to Gunnar Henderson? <laughs> no, I was. Uh, I felt for you early in the season. Uh, um, in my rookie year in 82, three for five opening day, and then four for my next 63. Um, and so uh, the bat boy was telling me how to hit. Everybody was telling me how to hit. Um, how did you get through that early part? And when did you know if things were going to be all right? And when did you know if things were going to be all right? Yeah, so it was kind of like a collective effort. Uh, some of the veteran guys and then the hitting coaches, they were just kind of telling me. I mean, it's just something that everybody goes through at some point or another, and it just so happened that mine was at the beginning of the year. And uh, just kind of felt like we are putting in the right – uh, process just going about it each and every day and um, in the beginning it didn't really I mean I was hitting some balls hard just nothing was falling and I felt like it was just a week a couple weeks process of just sticking to it and eventually it uh, worked out and started falling and then it just took off from there. Our television ratings in the city of Baltimore are through the roof right now. <laughs> through the roof. We got Cal Ricca Jr. Cal, thank you so much for joining us. And Gunnar Henderson, congratulations once again on winning the American League Rookie of the Year.